Good afternoon. As you know, every week on our show, we open with a feature we call The Big Reveal. We reveal the truth that is so often kept hidden. So here now is today's Big Reveal. It's a frightening new health crisis called Cellunec. So what is Cellunec and what happens when you get it? Well, the shocking truth is your neck disappears. Just think about it. Nothing to tie a scarf around, nothing to dangle a necklace on, nothing to kiss on your way up to a person's mouth. So why is this happening? Here now to help guide us through this developing disaster is Dr. Neil Anderthal, an evolutionary anthropologist and renowned research scientist. <laughs> it's great to be here, Reagan. Uh, Dr. Anderthal, you would have told us if you'd been in a construction accident, wouldn't you? Oh, no. Listen, nothing's fallen on my head. <laughs> I have Cellunec, that's all. You can relax. Wait, what? You have Cellunec? Yes, and can I just say that it's absolutely right for you to be warning your viewers about it. Uh, this condition really is spreading, and we only have ourselves to blame. You have Cellunec. What the fresh hell is this, Marcus? Uh, Nothing in my notes say that the guest has Cellunec. Fortunately, Reagan, my team has been able to pinpoint the source of the Cellunec, and now we have a solution for it. Well, thank God for that. Mm -hmm. So what have you discovered? That Cellunec is caused by the overuse of phones. Ever since the cell phone was invented, our neck muscles have begun to topple over. That's because we're always looking down, rarely keeping our heads up. This is causing our neck muscles to shrink. And now it seems that evolution has kicked in and our neck muscles are disappearing from our DNA too. Uh, uh, could you hit the mute button for me, please? Uh, Marcus, we're not taking calls yet. This is the big reveal part of the show for God's sake. Oh boy, here come the waterworks. Okay, okay. I'm doing it for you. Uh, go ahead, caller. I don't like you. You should know that, pal. I don't like what you've been saying. I got two teenagers and they're on their phones all the time and nothing's wrong with their necks. Let me ask you this, caller. When was the last time you saw your kids walking down the street with their heads in the air? Why would their heads be in the air? You never seen a teenager before? They're always looking down because that's where the phones are. No, no, wait a sec. Yesterday, my son was right in my face demanding my car keys. Exactly. He could face you like that with his head up because he's still a kid, so his neck muscle's still strong. But when he's an adult, that's when he'll start to have shrinkage. Shrinkage? Really? Can you verify that? <laughs> I mean, I know men who've had problems with shrinkage, but it's got nothing to do with their necks. <laughs> I'm deadly serious. The shrinkage is widespread. Many necks are already useless. Uh, speaking of useless, I don't know if you're aware that you have a useless tailbone, Reagan. Uh, you know, you just put my self-esteem in a blender and pushed the puree button. Why would you do that? Only to prove a point, Reagan. Tailbones helped our ancestors with mobility and balance. But our tailbones shrank when we began to walk upright. Now. Tailbones are useless, but we won't miss them, and we won't miss our necks either. I certainly don't. How could you not miss your neck? I have a conehead collar, that's why. What sizes are there? Do you got any for thick necks? Terrific question. Yes, we have conehead collars for all sizes. They're quick and easy to fasten, as long as your head is in the upright position. In the event of a pandemic, each collar has an insert that can be pulled up and over your nose. Takeoff is simply the reverse action. Should there be a need for you or your family to adjust your collar, we ask that you adjust your own collar first before assisting others. Well, thank you, Neil, for that information, even though it was nakedly self-serving. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Mama loves the grape. Do you? Jesus Christ, was that a gun? Good God, no, that wasn't a gunshot. That was Marcus doing a great job bartending. He always knows when to switch it up and bring out the bubbly. 
Can I just say, though, I noticed you had trouble moving your neck when you thought you heard a gunshot. You caught that, eh? Mm. <laughs> well, okay, I'll admit it's a slight limitation. Now, that's because cellular neck limits your head's rotation. But I've got that glitch covered. I've got a series of training videos to show you how to overcome it. I could ask many, many questions about that. None of which would interest me, though. So... Hey! Are any of your videos on YouTube? My videos are all over the internet, and you really need to watch them because they'll teach you what to do when you don't have a neck anymore. They'll show you how to move your ears instead. You'll learn how to move your ears forwards, backwards, on both sides, just like a cat. Wait, so that you think that we should all have ears like cats? <laughs> Wish I'd never visualized that in my mind's eye. Now I have to go and poke out my mind's can eye. Can you let me finish? And can you let me roll my eyes in frustration? <laughs> to better times, Dr. Andersall. Thank you for watching The Big Reveal. Until next time.